everyone in this video I will tell you how we can return a tabular format data from power automate to power apps or canvas apps right so this is a currency layer website so I will connect to the third party currency layer from power automate and this currency layer always gives the current exchange rates of a source currency and the target currency exchange rates like you see here for USD uh, currency what is the Canadian dollar uh, exchange rates and uh, other things also it is displaying here so to get the current exchange rates by uh, sending the source currency uh, how we can get this data uh, in our power automate so that the power automate will send the tabular format with this data to canvas apps I have already shown you another video uh, how to uh, display this uh, single data but this time I will show you tabular data right so what I have done I have taken a uh, created a new power automate flow and taken the power apps trigger so let me create this uh, from scratch so that you can understand more so I can go to powerautomate.microsoft.com and sign in and use my correct correct environment to store my power, store my power automate so I have already created this but um, it is always the best practice to show you from scratch so that you can understand so before calling a power automate from canvas app you have to create your power apps with power apps trigger right so I'll go here and choose my correct environment and I'll go to create a new flow so this time I'll create a new flow instant cloud flow and this time I'll skip this here I will give the name uh, I will give the name for power automate the power automate name let's say fetch let us load this first so give a name let's say fetch currency rates okay now here I will choose power apps as a trigger so just search power apps you will find uh, two power apps triggers so always choose the second one version 2 because it gives more flexibility so that you can add input parameters right now I don't want to add any parameter okay so this power apps trigger will be used to call from canvas apps otherwise it will, uh, this power automate cannot be called so once the trigger is identified I want to call a third party web service called as currency layer if you don't have uh, you know credentials for current layer you have to sign up free and if you sign up free it will give a API key for you and when the API key will be given the if you provide the access key and the currency I have already created this uh, in my last video you can check that and here you have to pass the which currencies uh, exchange rates you want and what is the source currency so if you hit this URL it will give the return result in JSON right so we need to fetch we need to uh, send a web request or HTTP request to this URL so that I can get this result and this result which is available in the quotes object I will send to the canvas app so I'll go here and create a new step add HTTP okay I'll choose HTTP and use get as var and the URL I'll put the same URL because this is the URL that is available uh, so this is the URL that is available to call right so I can save it and test it now let us test that what is the response that is returning from this HTTP server HTTP request now click on the run flow and done now what is the next thing the next thing is the HTTP request now it is success right the HTTP request responded with a body now this body I want you see it is returned successfully now what I will do I will just copy this body and click on edit again and do another step here to parse JSON use data operation and parse JSON and use the content what is the content I want the body right and what is the schema because I want to parse the body body um, content what is available here I have copied um, that is a JSON format right so I want to parse the JSON format to 
using this parse session so schema it requires a schema so click on generate from sample and i have copied the body information now click on done so it will create a schema for you now why parse json is required because if you use parse json you can fetch uh, the json properties according to your need i want to read this code information isn't it right so what i need to do so once the data is fetched from the third party service i want to send to the power apps there are two ways you can send power apps one is if you click on uh, step and search power apps then you will find there is a section called as respond to a power app or flow you can use this action otherwise you can use a response the difference between respond to a power apps and response is like if you use respond to power apps you can define this type of output parameters but there is no tabular format isn't it there is no tabular format that's why it is best practice if you want to return some json object as a tabular format use response so just search response and here you will find request and use response here you have to pass the body information what you need to pass i need to pass the body like ingestion format you see here i want to use currencies so i want to use like this and inside that i want to define a object called as currencies so you have to define like a json uh, variable currencies colon and here i want to use a uh, square bracket because there are multiple currencies available and inside that you need to pass another curly braces and here you need to pass whatever uh, exchange rates you want first i want usd euro right so i can copy this what is the european uh, exchange rates of usd social uh, usd source currency right so from where i can get this value from this dynamic value now if you search here usd you will find usd euro so how it is retrieved if you do not parse the json object that is available in the response body then you cannot get it so parse json is important like that you can add comma and add other information that you want i want uh, the gbp conversion rate also and i can use the dynamic variable usd gbp okay next i want another i want the canadian dollar and another is pln right so usd usd pln i can choose usd pln so these are from parse json step now this will create a json object with an array and it will send to the canvas app as a response and if you set a variable and assign this response data uh, in a variable then that will be available as a table let us see how it is done now here you see when you are doing a response body is required but still the response body json schema is also required so what you would do you have to just copy this and store in a notepad and instead of this add the red symbol something just type uh, some sample data so that it will generate the schema right i can copy this and go to here use generate from sample and click done now the schema is already created the schema should match with the value that is available in the body right
now click on save so I have done my flow click on save okay now I want to create a canvas app to call this so I'll go here and create a canvas app I'll go to create click on blank app click on canvas app uh, let's say return table from flow now I want to call the power automate I have created right so this power automate now if you run it how it works let us see click on manually and test it now it will try to fetch all the currencies and create a JSON response object here you see it is an it is an array type uh, currency is an array type JSON variable so I can fetch here in the canvas app I'll go here and what I'll do I'll just take a uh, rectangle here you can design as per your need because canvas app provides uh, very flexibility for designing I can take a button here and replace this as fetch currency exchange rates and here I want to take a data table because I want to uh, display the exchange rates in a data table right now what I will do I want to call the power automate isn't it so what I will do I will click this button and go to power automate and add flow you will see fetch currency exchange rates is available I can click this so that it will be available in my canvas apps now I want to call this on button click so what I have to do I will go to on select property of the button and write down the name of the power automate so what is the name fetch currency rate dot run now whenever it will run it will do some response right it will give some response so I will initialize a variable let's say a currency or rates comma run so what it does it, it means when you click the button it will call the fetch it will call the power automate and the response will be stored in this variable rates variable set is used to declare a global variable now I can assign this rates this rates uh, variable in the table right so I can go here in the items and type down rates then currencies right now currencies is a tabular format right that's why it is associated I can click on edit to associate the fields you see every data is available I can click on add right now let us test this run this immediately whenever you call this it will try to call the third party service and paste the data here you see how it is bound here because of the response object okay you see this is the data euro data 0 0.95 and here it is available 0 0.95 right so this way you can uh, return tabular format from your power automate to canvas app no need to use respond to power apps rather you can use response to define such type of array type thing and your work is done so thank you for your time guys i hope uh, it will help you in your project see you guys and if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel see you guys bye